guys this is Joyce and I am here you have to excuse my mess because I got a lot going on but I have um, some hauls and so we're gonna call this just like a random haul video from different places Ex like I said excuse my mess but I got projects going on and I, I need to get out of the house to go to the store uh, First, I have some things from Tuesday morning, and I have some things from, like I said, lots of little places. I was in Tuesday morning, and they had this keeper's jar thingy. It's kind of cool, and it was $4.99, and I have a lot of little blingy stuff like this. Sorry about that glare and in bags and stuff so I was looking for a way to get them put up and this was just perfect I didn't need but one it has one two three four five six it has 24 containers and so I thought the price was right and then it'll just fit on my shelf and be right there when I need it so I got that then you know I got the new uh, I got the glimmer machine and so I picked up some more glimmer I did not have this one forget the glare uh, you are amazing to me you are my saving grace you are for my beautiful friend and it also has dyes so it not only has the sentiments it has the dyes to cut them with which was $12.99 and the number is 2568390 and then they had some Carter B scissors did not need them but they were there and I do love this uh, this brand for uh, fussy cutting and so I got that let's move the right along so we'll move that then I was in Hobby Lobby um, couple things I needed to pick up and there's something else I lost something don't know where it went but I did lose something anyway let's see oh here it is sorry guys just stuff I tell you okay so I was in Hobby Lobby and I was just really looking around and I got this new um, steel blade cutter it's a uh, Cricut Cricut was on no it wasn't on sale anyway so mine I have the Martha Stewart one and guys I got two of them somewhere but I'm telling you the truth I just but I'm about wore it out and I can't find my blades but anyway so I wanted to try this one it has a wider the arm is thicker so I'm wondering if I'll have more control with it but anyway so I decided to check this out this is a new item I had never seen it before so that was Hobby Lobby and then I got two sale items I got this Christmas sleigh from Momenta 324 and I got this car it is a car from Spellbinders and it it is I guess they're saying Christmas but car you know it can you can use it for different things so I got that and I ended up having to have some e6000 adhesive so I got that and that was and then from wrong wrong I got the new black girl magic sticker book this one she just came out with I had pre-ordered and I have used it already I really love her images and so that was that I got some Amazon I picked this up in um, Walmart and it is a stick on selfie light for your phone and it has a mirror on it and a kickstand don't know why the mirror but I thought sometimes you know you're trying to take a picture and the light ain't right so I thought this might help uh, it was $4.99 at Walmart okay let's move that paper out of the way because that is I'm gonna have to clean up uh, Amazon I had some Amazon items so I bought some new cutting plates for my um, platinum the big um, 
die cutting machine from Spellbinders. So I just, I like to keep extras on hand because I really love that machine and I use it a lot. And so I order them from Amazon. It's just easier. Um, Elizabeth Craft, Martha had sent me an email and she was saying how she loved playing with her Elizabeth Craft. She didn't know if I knew about it, but you know, I do have a lot in my collection and I haven't been using them. So she's using them for different things. And she said, Oh, Joyce, I didn't know if you use them and blah, blah. You know, she had just, she is so sweet. She is such a sweet lady. Uh, Martha is Nylika, Stan, um, Nylika Sims on YouTube. Go by and check her out because she is an awesome crafter, but she is a great friend too. So just when I was on Amazon, I found this one and this is one I did not have in my collection. So I decided to add two, but Martha has inspired me to start using these. So I'm going to leave that out and pull out the rest of them. I also got this uh, Alina Craft, and it is a box and an album, and I saw this, I don't remember where I saw it, but I was like, you know, oh yeah, I do, I think it was Lynn, who is Gift Diva, and I was like, you know, do I really need this? I have all kinds of journal books, journal dies, and all these things, but this one was interesting because it also has a box. To go with it and so anyway I got it and it was from Amazon uh, I had to have new makeup brushes so I bought and I've used I had this set before but I like it better now because it has the container for holding it all of my makeup brushes were old and the handles were breaking so this is BS mall like I said I had these before and I really like the brushes so there is that and then I also went to um, TJ Maxx and just some random things. So I got some sponges for my kitchen and these were on clearance for two bucks. You know how you clean in pots and pans and it's got the scrubby on the back and then the soft spots. So I needed some new ones. Um, and then I found this makeup brush holder for my bathroom. And I have a smaller one. This one was $4.99. But this one is bigger and I just like that it's black. So I got it. Plus it say Queen Bee. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I got that. And I have some other stuff from Amazon, but I'm not going to show you that until I get my full setup. So there is that. And I have some papers. Where's the... That's going to be garbage that needs to go. I have a couple more orders outstanding. But anyway, I went online to Only One Life Creations. Uh, they have a variety of items that they sell. They have lots of craft stuff, different designers, and they usually have some really decent prices. And they have shipping, $20 to $60 shipping rate. They have... Um, I don't think I paid any. Yeah, I did pay for shipping. I did. I was thinking I got free shipping, but I paid for it. But that's okay because I just couldn't help myself. I love 49 and Market Paper. Let me move this out of the way because that's just annoying. Um, and I saw these colors. And this is the ephemera pack. But 49th and Market, their papers are so thick. The quality is so great. I have some, and I just really love it. Okay, I really do. And it's great for making boxes and stuff because that's just the quality of it. So they had some new uh, collections, and this one is called Mango. I got that for the color because it's more coral than orange, but it is awesome. 
I don't want to take all this out, but you can kind of see the pieces that are in there. I will be using this really soon. Um, and I think I'm going to use it with my um, Elizabeth Craft album dies because I need to be doing some scrapbooking. So I also bought some of the um, embellishments. And this is just uh, Wishing Bubbles and Bobbles. And like I said, the color is mango, and this has 67 epoxy coated sticker embellishments, which I think is just so cute. And then they also had, in this collection, they also had the 6x6 paper. It's double sided, so it's a total of 20 sheets. But look at that color, guys. Anyway, I'm not going to open all of these. And then I also got the lilac. Oh, I got the 12x12 in the mango. Look at that. That, those papers are just so gorgeous and then these are the stickers that are in them I guess I could uh, oops sorry take it out some anyway so that is those are the stickers and this set the 12 by 12 has four double sided papers and two laser cut sheets of coordinating uh, elements so this one has tags and just all kinds of goodies so I really cannot get the you know can't wait to play with this and it says plus get an extra pattern on the back side of the cover that is exclusive for this collection so not and it's not a lot of paper but it would be perfect for one album or for a project you know so, and I may have to buy another one of these. That's what I'm thinking. I may get another of the 12 by 12. So that is the mango. And then, of course, they had the lilac. So you know I had to have lilac, right? Because, you know, I am a purple kind of girl. And I just really love me some purple. And this is the same thing. It has four double-sided papers, two laser-cut sheets, plus an extra pattern. So the back of this is an extra sheet of paper. Plus, you could cut these out and do something with those if you wanted. So there is that. So that's the Lilac collection. The Lilac did not have the 6x6 paper pad, but they did have the embellishments. And so I got that. And then they also had the ephemera package, which is super cute. And like I said, I think this is paper that I will be using to do my, because I got a lot of photos that I need to get scrapbooked. And you know, I love the Traveler's Notebook, so I was thinking of actually making my own by using the Elizabeth Craft dies, which is why I bought them. And in the two years since I started buying them, I have never used them. So... That is on my list of things to do. So, guys, I think that is the end of my haul. Uh, I don't think there is... Oops. I need... Oh, I need to do another video for that project there. But I think that is it for this. I do have a couple more orders that are outstanding and I have not received yet. But, guys... Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because I do have some things coming up. And I've kind of been really lax or just not able to do a lot on YouTube. I am trying to get out there and view more videos and leave more comments. And get hopefully get better at answering the comments on my videos. But my job, job has really been very busy and I've had some other things going on in my life that just kind of slows me down a bit and I am planning for my future retirement so I've got a lot of things going on for that like getting out of paying off all my debt getting my car paid for and you know it's things that I try not to stress about but things that I put a lot of time into so just bear with me because mama's getting there you know life is good I in a year next year I will be going I'm gonna move out of state once I do retire and yeah so I will be looking for where I will be living and I'm gonna be going around looking at different places I haven't made up my mind about any of that yet and so there's a lot going on and then my job is where I work 
a lot of the people are within my age range, you know, so they're going to have a lot of people retiring over the next five, ten years, probably five years. Because a lot of the people I work with, we're all in that same age range. And so they have started the planning as to how things are going to be for the future. So I am not now training the person who is going to take my job when I do retire, even if it's two or three years down the road. There's a lot for her to be trained on. So when she does take over she will be able to do everything, you know, and it won't be a last minute training where she'll come up short. So I am already starting to train her and, you know, get her assimilated and, rec you know, able to see what I actually do because I do a lot and it's not going to be a quick and easy job to train her. She, like I said, so we're starting that and they are putting plans in place we got somebody, a couple people retiring next year. We got some going part-time. So it's going to be an interesting two to three years because things, they are changing. And so just like we're planning for work so that they don't get caught in a situation where there's nobody to do the work <laughs> or do it properly, you know, they are putting plans into place, which I think is great. And so, and I'm also doing that same thing for my life because, you know, I'm fortunate. I am not really sickly. I don't have a lot of medical issues. I spend very little on medical. You know, I have high blood pressure, these kind of things. But it, um, you know, it's just, I want, I'm a planner. And I'm also afraid to be a bag lady. So I have to plan my world out. Anyway, guys, you don't care about any of that. I may even cut this little bit out, but I will see you in the next video. Bye.